Hi and welcome to a new episode of my channel. Today I'm gonna have a first look on the Flycaller 50 amp RC boat ESC. Just gonna go through the specs and do some measurements just to give you a first impression what you can expect from this race boat ESC. First let's have a look at the ESC itself. Later we're gonna go through the manual instructions. Uh, most important we have a 50 amp ESC. It can be used with two to six S LiPos. It has a 5.5 volt back, which runs at maximum with five amps. The ESC has a built-in water cooling system with brass tubes, and the top plate is made of aluminum, bottom plate is plastic, and as you can see, the whole ESC is pretty well sealed so it should be absolutely waterproof so perfect for using in RC boats. What also comes with this ESC is this ferret core. This ferret core can help you to reduce interferences from the ESC to your RC receiver. I just removed it just because I just want to show you the whole length of the cable. If you put on the ferret core, you have a few centimeters less of uh, receiver cable. So this is the reason why I took it off. Then let's have a look at the weight. The instruction manual says it is 90 grams. So including the ferret core, we have a bit more than 99 grams, so a bit more than the EM says. If you want to reduce weight, you can shorten some cables for sure, but the 99 grams is what you get. As next, let's have a look at the size of the ESC. Length of the ESC is 56 millimeters. Then we have a width of around 49, 50 millimeters. Then we can take the length, including the cooling pipes. This is 82. And then let's have a look at the length of the cables. We have uh, motor cables, which are almost 10 centimeters. Then we have battery cables, which are around 9.5 or almost 10 centimeters too. And then we have the receiver cable, which is around 30 centimeters. The inner diameter of the cooling pipes is around 3.2 millimeters. It is very important that you have, through your whole cooling system, the same inner diameter of every part. So the water inlet, the water outlet, all the tubes and the pipes on the ESC and on the motor cooling plate on the, or the motor cooling system have to be the same diameter. If you have one part which is a smaller diameter, you cannot push the same amount of water through the system. So really have a look at what you get for cooling system. So in my case of the uh, Rocket 26, it's all around the system with three millimeters of diameter. Then let's have a look at the instruction manual. The ESC comes in this plastic bag. You get two instruction manuals. One is in English, another one is in Chinese. We're gonna have a look at the English version. On the first page of the EM, you can see the main features. Then we have specifications. We have to have a look at this line here. We have the 50 amp version, burst with 300 amps. 2 to 6S, switchback 5.5 volts, 5 amps, and as already mentioned, the 90 grams, which is not correct, which is 99 grams, the measurements and the boat length, what this uh, ESC should be used for. Then we have a diagram of how to wire up the ESC, this is pretty simple. And then the operation instruction, settings throttle range is Pretty simple, just pull your trigger or your throttle stick to full throttle, plug in your battery, then listen to the beeps, go back to neutral, listen to some beeps again, and then your throttle range is set. Then we have the programming, very important for me, that you can program this ESC through your transmitter. 
so every step is possible through a transmitter. You can also use a program card, but in my opinion, there's no need for a program card if you can do the whole programming through your transmitter. Then you can see what you can program here. We have running mode, all the gray cells uh, mean this is the default setting of the ESC. We have set it to forward. You can also set it to forward and reverse. Then we have the mode direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. Then you have low voltage protection from no protection, then up to 3.4 volts. Then we have start mode, how hard it punches the throttle if you pull your trigger from level one to level five. It's set on the middle as default. And then we have the timing from zero degrees up to 26.25 degrees and uh, these are eight steps and it's on step five in on default with 15 degrees the next page shows the programming with program card then again all the program modes what you can do what we can what we have saw in the page before then protection functions this is pretty important so startup protection so if your throttle stick is not in neutral the motor won't spin up then low voltage protection that your battery won't have a uh, low discharge then overheat protection if it reaches 100 degrees your esc it, re it reduces the power to 50 percent and if it goes down again under 80 degrees it goes back to normal mode then we have signal losing protection so if you lose your rc signal from the transmitter then the motor will stop running and it waits until the signal comes back and then you can run again in normal mode then we have some safety cautions and on the last side we have the troubleshooting so if anything is unclear how to use the ESC, you can go through the troubleshooting side to fix your problem. So this is already all about the 50 amp fly color RC boat ESC. I'm gonna use it with my Racer Star 4000 kV motor in my Choiceway Rocket 26. I'm pretty excited how this will work. Thanks for watching, have a good time, bye bye.